Okay guys, I wanted to share a couple short clips from a presentation of a virtual tailgate uh, put on by the Football Alumni of Michigan and the Michigan Alumni Association. And this was published last week prior to the 2020 Wisconsin game. And what they did was they featured a few former players and they kind of had a panel discussion but I wanted to share some insights from one of my favorite Bow Era standouts, namely Big Ed Moransky, the All-American tackle from 1981. Ed won a Super Bowl with the Raiders, and he never disappoints. And a couple things stood out. Really, he talks about the differences in the game today, the actual game, but also the difference in coaching and coaching styles. And very interesting to hear Ed's thoughts on the shift from negative reinforcement from the Bow and Woody era to positive reinforcement today. And finally, Ed is still the uh, record holder for the Lowry's Beef Bowl uh, held before the, each Rose Bowl. And he kind of recaps that great story with he and Bubba Paris from that great day and, uh, and Bo's reaction to it. So again, I hope you enjoy. If you like this stuff, share it. I will put a link to the full panel discussion uh, from this virtual tailgate in the show notes. So I hope you enjoy. It's been a few years uh, since uh, you've played and, uh, you know, the NFL. When you take a look at, uh, at college football today and the NFL, what do you see as the big differences in your mind? Because you played in the old days and now you see, I mean, it's 40 years later. What do you see the differences? I think two of the biggest differences, Bruce, is kind of, how in the mid to late eighties, it became kind of a full-time sport. So I'm, I'm sure that Jordan and Sean today don't really have a month off. They might take a couple of weeks off to take a vacation at the end of the season, but there's trainers, there's how you eat, there's what you should be doing. There's speed coaches. I think that side is night and day. And the second thing is if you really look back the, the speed of the game and not surprising the concussions that cause it, with the physics equation, the speed of the game, at least as an offensive lineman, looking at the speed of the Jordans of the world or the linebackers of today, um, it's, it's just a different world out there. I mean, you take a look at some of the old 1970, 80 blocking schemes where you literally have a four yard hole. I mean, those things just don't exist. So I think those two things probably more than anything. When you take a look at the type of game that it is today, the type of coaching that you see. I mean, what are the differences in the coaches as you see? Because now, I mean, you had coaches at Michigan that stayed there forever. Now, there's a lot of movement in the business. Yeah, I, I would have to say, Bruce, the biggest difference is that while I was there, and I love him, he's up on my mantle over here next to my mother and father. He was a second father to me. But he and the whole Michigan program dealt a lot with negative reinforcement. No matter how much I played or what kind of awards I got, I was always worried on Sunday watching film whether I was going to lose my job or not. And that, that negative enforce, reinforcement, when you talk to the guys from Ohio State or the Woody and, and the Earl Bruce here and all of that, and uh, compare that to today, it's night and day. The kids today, and I did a little bit of help high school coaching, and obviously uh, uh, Sean and uh, um, Jordan – saw it firsthand, there's a lot more positive reinforcement. There's a lot more having to keep people up. And uh, although at the end of the day, you're still worried, it doesn't work with the kids today the way it worked before. And I see that big change in coaching. Bob Stoops is a good friend of mine, went to high school with me. And he said that was the biggest difference from the day he entered to the day he left, of how you really never met the parents at the end. You've met the people who were in charge of them and this and that. And it just, uh, it was a different, different day and way and the negative enforcement day of, of Bo and all the success he had just wouldn't work today. Did, can you tell us about the beef bowl? Is, is that, can you tell us the story about the beef bowl? Is there, is there any validity to that, that story and, and what happened? So there is Bubba Paris and I, our freshman year snuck into the corner of Lowry Steakhouse. He had seven and I had eight diamond Jim Brady cuts. That's 16 pounds for me. The Frank family recognized me, the 50 years of them being in the Rose Bowl. Bubba and I went out that night, had a pizza, had other things. Bo Schembechler took care of us in the morning, but we were freshmen. Junior year coming over, we're somewhere over Iowa, leaving Detroit Metro. 
and Bo comes and sits right in between the two of us, and he said, we're going to your favorite place tomorrow. He said, you two fat asses are sitting right at my table. You can allow, you're allowed to have two. So it, it's a lot of fun. The record is still intact, and it's prime rib. I still could eat a lot of it if I had to, and it was, uh, you know, well, we didn't even know what the hell was going on back then. You look at it, Bubba and I were 18, 19 years old, having the time of our life, and that, that is a true story.